Hello viewers, today I have this JBL Jembi computer table Bluetooth speaker. This work, works in DC adapter. So I'm going to convert this to battery powered portable Bluetooth speaker. So to do that, I have to disassemble this powered section of the speaker. So I'm going to keep this aside. Now let, let's disassemble this. Actually this works in the 12 volt DC 1.5 amps showing in the close up. So I have to put 12 volt battery here inside so that this will work without DC adapter. Alright, let's disassemble the speaker. I'm just praying from this point. It is the clip which is holding the cover. Alright, the cover is removed. Now there is four screws here. One, two, three, four. Let's remove that. Alright, before that we have to remove the sticker. Alright, now let's remove this wire of the speaker. Now I'm going to, we can remove here. Done. Now let me keep this side. Now I'm going to remove this motherboard. Four screws are there. Let me remove this controller, just pushing that side, it will come out, alright, now there is a screw, there is a nut here, we have to remove that to take off the motherboard, alright, came out, now we can't pull out this motherboard, we have to remove this base port, for that there are two screws here in the inside, we have to remove that. Alright, now let's just slowly pull out the motherboard like this, done. This is the base port. This is the external ventilator, the air pumps in from this side and goes out from this side. Alright, now this is the main 12 volt power input board here from this point voltage comes in from the external adapter i'm going to remove these two screws as well to access it easily all right this is the board coming close up here the 12 volt in goes and from this section it goes from this point to the motherboard so i'm going to connect the batteries here 12 volt battery minus of the battery to this point minus and the plus of the battery goes here to the plus part this red one that's it now i will keep this aside i have these three batteries of 3.7 volt each so i am connecting this in series it will become 12 volts so to do that i am going to connect these bms these are the three bms each bm is bms is of 3.7 volt so i am going to connect one bms for one battery and then i will series it through this bms so that we will get the output of 12 volts so let me do that all right now i have these three pieces of nickel plates so that i will do spot welding to these batteries don't do soldering soldering may harm the battery and actually it will harm the battery so spot welding is better for the life of the battery this is the negative terminal and this is the positive terminal the whole part is positive this each battery is of around 1000 mAh so connecting these three will have three times of its power now before spot welding i am going to insulate these batteries
apply a little bit of tape here on the both sides all right now this will be in the center and these two will be at the sides now let's wrap this Now I'm going to put the same tape the bottom of this one. Yep. All right. Now let us spot weld. This is ready to spot weld. Now I am going to keep this nickel plate here and do the spot welding. All right. Now this is spot welded. Time to connect this BMS. Before that, I'm going to remove all these cables. So this is the BMS. Positive will go to positive. So this is the positive here. This is ready. I'm going to spot weld here. All right. Now I have done for one battery. I will connect for all these two remaining with the same process and come back here. Now I have connected the battery. You can see each battery is connected to one BMS like that all three batteries now let's series it the minus of the ba this battery will go to plus and this minus will go to again plus just doing like that right. I'm connecting here this is the plus actually and now it will come to Now it will go to minus of the other battery. I will show you in the close up after doing that. Now just cutting it out the extra, extra one. Now again plus of this battery goes to minus of this battery. I am putting a little bit of extra lead. All right. Cutting this extra wire. Now I'm coming close up and see. You can see the plus terminal is going to the negative of the second battery, and again the positive terminal of the second battery is going to the negative terminal of the third battery. Now I'm going to take the plus from here, this third battery, and the minus from the first battery, so that I will get uh, 12 volts of the output from this battery. I will show you the voltage also. Plus will go to plus. Minus will go to minus. All right, now let's check the voltage. Battery is not charged completely. It is with the very low voltage. In the sense, minimum voltage of 3.7 it should be. So altogether it should be around 11. Yeah, 11.32 voltage. If we charge it fully, it will become around 12.3 or something, 12.4. All right, it's time to fix the battery pack to the speaker. All right, now let's keep the battery here, battery pack here. Now, this is the position. Let's mix the epoxy resin. Now I have kept the epoxy resin here. Before that, let me see the position first. All right, now mixing the epoxy resin. All 
All right, I have pasted here. I've cut short the time to save your time. It is pasted. Now you can see I'm holding the battery and everything is coming with that. So actually battery terminal is connected. Minus is minus one to minus, plus one to plus, but the color code is different here. Actually I have uh, connected the minus red wire to the minus of the battery. So I'm giving the minus to the board here and uh, black is connected to the positive of the battery so i am giving plus to the this board the black is plus and it's go it is going to plus so sorry the, uh, now if if i want to replace the wire i have to unpaste the battery so as of now i am going to use this speaker for myself so no problem i know i have connected it in the other way so all right now it's time to reassemble the speaker now before reassembling the speaker let's see whether it it is charging or not now the voltage is now the voltage is 11.19 now let me connect the charger 11.19 is the voltage now i have connected the charger here now let me see whether it is charging or not yeah you can see it is charging now 11.97 it will take some time to charge yeah, it is going to 12.101 then it's charging perfectly all right now it's time to assemble the speaker i will show the demo after assembling the speaker now it's time to put this base port all right First, we will put the motherboard screw. All right, time to fix this base port. then base port is fixed now it's time to put the speaker up. let me connect the speaker first positive will go to positive negative goes to negative over now let's put this light indicator now the important part is this should be properly positioned so that air leakage will not be there before putting it together it should be placed properly otherwise air distortion will be there all right now it's time to put the speaker back to its housing Alright, it is fixed now. There are three more screws. Done. I'll apply this. Like this. Now, I am going to put the cover back. This one. Alright. Now there is one nut here which I have to put. Alright, nut is back to its place. Now the top cover placed. Alright, the speaker is charging. Now let me turn on the speaker. You can see the light is coming. You may think the power card is connected because of that light is coming. I am removing that. So light is there and even Bluetooth is connected to my mobile. So all right. Now I think let let me put the demo without battery. Uh, sorry, without adapter. I'm connecting this to the other speaker as well. Now let me play the song. Yeah, sound is coming. Raising the volume.
let me show you the adapter is not connected Alright, thanks for watching the video. If you like the video, please do like, share, subscribe to AudioVis360 and write comment in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Bye.